hey it's just so Trish and I want to talk about a picture I have seen on the internet on Facebook and I want to talk about it because I'm afraid it's scaring some people and there's some people that are like really crazy about it so I want to tell you why I don't think it's real so have you seen the photo and it was and it's a funny and I think it was just meant to be funny because um, it's a stove all smashed in. There's a canning, like this exact Presto canner sitting on it, falling in. In the ceiling is the lid and the stove's open and you can just see the whole glass top smashed. And then the um, air vent is like, or the vent is pulled up. I don't think it's real. I don't think it was done through pressure canning at all and I'm going to tell you why. And this is a collaboration that I'm doing with Dirt Patch. So I'm going to put the little eye in there and she's going to cover everything about all the safety, all the safety controls and the safety things that are within the pressure cooker to keep it from happening and talk to you about what she's heard you know from people that have blown up the pressure heater but they just don't do it I mean I guess you can and I'm serious think about <sighs> anyway she's gonna cover that so click on the eye when you're done and she will walk you through all the safety measures with the pressure canner so why I don't think it's real here's the thing there are these locks. Let's see if I can do this. There's, see this little thing right here? No, you can't because i got to learn how to use it. See that? That locks it in. And do you see how this is grooved? I know, I should have done it. See how that's grooved? See that? Those go right under here. So my first thing is, that canner looks pretty intact to have blown up. It is still, it's not deformed. In order for that lid, the way they make the lid, in order for the lid to come off, the canner would be deformed. Like, that canner looks like you could pull the lid out of the ceiling, put the lid on the canner, and it works again. So number one. The canner's not deformed. Two is when you look at the canner, if you explode the canner, you're exploding all the jars within it. So when you just look at how clean the kitchen is, if you're canning, say, green beans, you're canning chicken, when that canner exploded, there would be the food all over the kitchen. The kitchen looks kind of clean. I mean, yeah, granted, there's glass everywhere from the um, cooktop, but the kitchen looked clean. Period. It it looked pretty, I mean, except for where the glass was, like somebody had it. Anyway, so there's number two. The kitchen looked clean. Now for jars. If you've canned enough, you know when jars break, they break in big pieces. You don't have tiny little pieces everywhere. You have big pieces. And there was no jar glass. There was no glass from the jar anywhere in that photo. There was no rings, which are the top of the jar. There's none of these. There was no rims. You know, this part. There's none of that. Anywhere. I would have expected to have seen one. There was not one. So, like the canner's in perfect condition. I gotta use my fingers. The um, canner's perfect condition. There's no extra glass. There's no messy food. There's no rings or rims. Rings or rims. There's none of that. And so I'm just kinda like, that doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right. And then we know from the attack that we had here in the states with a pressure canner or with a pressure cooker or whatever they used that it disintegrated your canner is not going to stay intact at all 
if that happened. Well, I won't want to say in all, but you're going to have like cracked open, not pristine looking. So those are kind of my things that I think, I think I haven't contacted anybody. I might get haters, but I think somebody might have had a temper tantrum. They could have easily had a temper tantrum with their canner and started slamming their stovetop with the canner and it broke and then took the lid and threw it up and it landed and that's what to me that's what it looks like and then you stuck the canner on there and it's like first attempt at canning huh? I think it went well and you know when I first saw it I was just like wah because I immediately didn't think oh no I hope everybody's okay but those are the comments I hope everybody's okay <gasps> canning is so dangerous <gasps> And here's the other part. I mean, it's not recommended to can on a glass top. Before the stove, I had a glass top. I canned for two and a half years on a glass top. It never broke. None of that ever happened. And I am not a great canner, as in, I'm kind of distracted. I got six kids. I mean, I kind of forget what I'm doing at times. So if anybody's going to have an exploding canner, because I don't, I'm not diligent. When I do it, people don't like canning with me. They like to sit me down and let me talk and stay out of the kitchen. True story happens all the time. They're like, oh, will you come help me? Sure. And like within 15 minutes, they're like, you just sit over there. Just sit over there. I'm like, sweet. I don't actually mind it at all. But I don't think it happened. So my thing is when the photo came up and it was being shared and all this fear was being growing, I was like, come on. And the moment I would make a comment... It would get very attacked defensively. Like, you don't mess with pressure canners. Well, yes, I do. Yes, I do mess with pressure canners. The other thing is, if it exploded like that, you would have also seen the weight, which I didn't pull mine out. If I even know where mine are. Um, you would have seen, like, the weight here. You know, like one of these. And the little thing. You would have seen that somewhere. And that wasn't anywhere. So... I just did this video, well, Dirt Patch and I discussed it and wanted to do this pair of videos just to kind of like, please people, canning is great. Canning is a very economical, you know, sustainable way to preserve your food. And it's, it's good for the environment. You're not tugging around cans, you're reusing a jar. You know, it's not like these canned products that then you've got to make sure it gets the recycling bin. If your community does it, it's just, it is an awesome way. And the last thing I want, you know, a lot of people start with water bath, but then they don't ever want to adventure into pressure canning out of fear, out of fear they're going to blow up and somebody having a good time. I just think there should have been a disclaimer at the bottom because it went viral, you know, and I think with the photo kept to his friends it was funny it it was funny but it went viral in fact I went to look and to see what comments they had it was deleted so I guess it was like oh no it went viral delete and it's still going viral um it was just a funny in my opinion in my humble opinion it's just a funny it's not legit and please I just used these things that I just told you as just a way to have your eyes to be prepared to look at the whole picture and to look and be crit to have critical eyes to yeah it is that early to have critical eyes to um, to be able to kind of reason like hmm is this what it you know I it looks like because seriously I could do some mock photos that's like this went bad and you know it's just a mock and so you can't take everything face value, especially when you look on the internet um, for what you, th what it is. So that's all I got to say. It's just so Trish, do not be terrified to pressure can. Don't wipe it out because you see some photo of something that scares you. Learn, 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 learn. Catch Julie's video on all the safeties that go with pressure canning because I'm serious it's probably my favorite tool I've been doing it for four or five years now and it's 
I couldn't live without it. In fact, I got two of them because I do so much. So anyways, I will talk to you later. Have a great, great weekend. Peace out.